Hi guys, welcome back to the new video of Edgewood channel. Today we are talking about a simple drug that is Megludine. It is actually a combination that is Flunixin Megludine. So we will be very famous with this drug Flunixin, which we have already completed in our pharmacology that is actually in the NSAIDs, that is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. So we have already covered the flunixin and it has got a very important role in the veterinary field because it is a very important drug which is used to treat colic in horses. So we may be knowing about this drug. So in this video we will be dealing with the flunixin. So if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates. So it's actually only for the animal treatment. It's not for human use. So for the use of only licensed veterinary practitioner. So each ml will be containing flunixin megalobin that is 83 milligram, phenol uh, that is uh, Indian pharmacopoeia that's 0 0.05 weight by volume, then sterile water for injection IP. So we'll be having a doubt with IP that's actually Indian pharmacopoeia. So pharmacology, flunixin megalobin is non-narcotic drug and non-steroidal drug which is having important action and fast-acting analgesic with anti-inflammatory and antipyretic activity. So the class is actually NSAID. So mechanism of action. Tunixin acts via analgesic and anti-inflammatory mechanism. So what happens? They will be inhibiting the synthesis of prostaglandin and prostaglandin-related substances. They will be inhibiting the cyclooxygenase enzyme and they will be inhibiting the synthesis of prostaglandins which are actually the local mediators of inflammatory response. So what happens? Anti-inflammatory in action and anti-analgesic action. So indications. Cattle, sheep, goat, camel and pigs. Uh, we are using mainly to control pyrexia and inflammation associated with the mastitis, metritis, pneumonia, etc. Actually pneumonia due to respiratory disease, bovine respiratory disease and also endotoxemia. In calves, uh, we will be using the drug to control the pain during dehorning and castration. In case of horses, uh, we are actually used to treat with the visceral pains of colic and other musculoskeletal disorders. In case of small animal that is dogs, uh, we will be treating uh, the pyrexia and post-operative pains and inflammation. So the dosage and administration, cattle and sheep and goat, it's actually 1.1 mg to 2.2 mg to nixin per kilogram body weight as usual, that is by slow IV or IM route. So dogs, 1 mg flunixin per kilogram body weight administered by slow IV or IM injection room. In case of camel, uh, that's actually 1.5, 1.1 to 1, 2.2 milligram. Horses, 1.1 milligram flunixin per kilogram body weight or 1 ml megalutine per 45 kilogram body weight given by slow IV. So pigs, uh, in actually MMS syndrome, that is mastitis, metritis, agalexia, uh, we have to give 2.2 milligram flunixin per kilogram body weight given by IM room. Uh, at 12 hours interval, that is two injections only. Two animals, uh, you can see that in elephants, non human primates, birds, and reptiles, you haven't seen the dose. So, the warnings it should not be used in these conditions. That actually, whenever an animal is in this condition, we should not use the megalodine injections, that is, bleeding disorders, uh, gastrointestinal diseases, whenever hypersensitivity to flunixin, or in cow, NSAIDs can change the estrogen action, that is, it can change the estrogen cycle and all. So in race horses, you cannot use uh, 24 hours before the race. So do not administer other NSA during flunixin therapy. So the precautions in case of horse, actually uh, the drug compatibility should be closely monitored because it can produce even epilepsy in case of falls. So always use with care in pregnant animal and during parturition phase. Whenever uh, we are using already to control the pain during the parturition at all. So do not use in falls less than 6 weeks. Actually, the presentation is actually we have 20 ml vial and 100 ml vial. So, this is the 20 ml vial and this is the 100 ml vial. So, we can use it according to the uh, uh, prescription given by the veterinarian. So, the withdrawal period in case of milk, it's 48 hours after last administration, and in meat, it's cattle, horse, and pigs. It's actually there are different days that is 14 days in case of cattle, 28 days in case of horse, pigs, it's 24 days. So, marketed by Virbak Animal Health India Private Limited, I think it's, it's a very big, important company. That is Mumbai-based drug company. So, the cost for the cost for 20 ml is actually 176 rupees. So, you can just see it. It's actually the MRP. 
it's not the cost it's the mr so thank you guys